What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new, please like, share, and subscribe to your returning guests. You know how we do kick off our shoes, like, and share the video. So I want to kind of share this update with my viewers with Miss Wendy Williams. For those that know my other platforms, I covered her a lot over there. And I have never kept it a secret that I don't wish, you know, addiction or, you know, any kind of abuse, physical, mental, any of that on my worst enemy. And so I thought that this was something to highlight that Mrs. Jones from 94.7, the Block Morning Show, you know, she stated that she had went over to, you know, check on Wendy, see how she was doing or whatever the case in her Manhattan apartment. And she said that, you know, she told the doorman I was she was here to see Wendy. And he said, well, you're a few months late. So allegedly, according to Miss Jones, Wendy Williams is in fact, you know, relocated to Florida to continue with her healing, continue her bonding with her son, and you know, just to continue to just be well all together, allegedly. And so Miss Jones took to her show and she says, Well, Wendy, if you're watching, it's okay to come out of hiding. You know, the judge has already said that Kevin can't get anything else and so forth and so on. And, you know, I just feel like it's a shame that you know, it's, it's come to this, even though we know that Wendy Williams have other issues, a lot of times in different relationships, you're just so embarrassed and so ashamed, and and sometimes you don't take the time to really understand that, you know, if it's not your fault, it's not your fault, but after investing so much time and all these different kind of things, and then only to come back to realize that the person just, you know, didn't care, you know, the person just wasn't thankful or grateful, or any of those kind of things. We all know that Serena has been left. She's left a little bit before Kevin, in fact, lost his home, allegedly. And so, you know, once she realized that he could no longer fit the lifestyle in which they were living, she decided to go home and allegedly go home to her mom. He should feel pretty crazy, even though, again, like we said, Wendy had her issues. But somehow I feel like and this is not a cop-out for her. A lot of times when people face addiction, stress don't help. Let's say that. Stress doesn't help. You know, you're going through and you're stressing and you're living certain things and you're trying to make sense of certain things. And so people turn to other things. But, however, healing is always available it's, if you want it. You have to... Get yourself from around those situations that cause you to stumble, those situations that cause you to not be confident or to be vulnerable or to, you know, just want to keep living those same things that kind of numb you because for some it is a numb and I just as alcohol allegedly educational purposes only. A lot of things are to numb the facts or the truth or to just numb things that you don't want to even think about or even want to revisit or remember and those kind of things. And so I'm hoping that she is in Florida and that she is around her family and loved ones and that, you know, she got her feet kicked up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because, again, I don't wish nothing on nobody, nobody, our people, nobody. I feel like we all eventually have to answer for our shortcomings. I feel like when you forgive or forget, that is just what it is. And um, you can't keep messing yourself up with trying to understand other people's issues or other people's problems or how come or why. or you know, it, it just doesn't happen that way. And so... Hopefully she can get some healing done, and will she eventually have the podcast? Who knows? I've always stated I believe that she can. I believe in her. I believe that she can come back, and she can do it by herself. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I just feel like people counted her out for the wrong reasons, and, you know, again, she still has to be accountable for what she allowed, you know, to take place in her relationship because it is you who have to put your foot down and say no more, you know, again, sometimes you want to work things out, but when you're the only one that's trying to work it out, it's time to go. And that's just how I feel about the situation. However, I just wanted to bring that news to you guys. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the channel and just keep on prayers. Prayfully, you know, she's getting her healing and getting her recovery. And the end of the day, I feel like the older you get, the biggest thing that really matters is just a peace of mind. You don't want to be in those spaces where, you know, you're just stressed out or aggravated or, you know, but you just can't even have a good breath of fresh air. So maybe Florida is a good look for her. You know, maybe that is what she needs to do, get away and, 
know, behind with her son. You know, he is her only child, and, you know, dumb two been through their stuff, but at the end of the day, that is what it is for her. So her mother, her brother, her dad, you know, there was the situation with the mom where they said she didn't go to the store. There was a lot going on with her, and, you know, what are you going to do? Again, sometimes you just have to woo side and realize that, you know, the battle is just not yours and go from there. You guys have a blessed one. Peace.